In the modern battlefield dominated by drones, the rules of war are being rewritten. For the Indian Army, simply deploying counter UAS is no longer enough. A major organizational overhaul is underway, one that will see drones becoming a standard weapon system at battalion and regiment level. From tanks to armored personnel carriers, from infantry detachments to artillery units, every fighting formation will now be equipped with its own set of lethal UAVs. Drones will now serve as the eyes, ears and striking arm of the Indian Army's frontline units. First, the role of real-time ISR, that is intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. These drones will relay live video and sensor feeds directly to the tank commanders, exposing enemy ambushes, terrain obstacles and hidden threats. Lessons from Russia-Ukraine war have shown how COPE cages and active protection systems can neutralize anti-tank weapons. India intends to stay one step ahead. Second, the mission of target identification and engagement. Equipped with electro-optical thermal imaging, drones can locate enemy armor, infantry and fortifications. In some variants, they may even carry micro-explosives or guided precision munitions giving India's main battle tanks unprecedented offensive reach. And third, the task of countering anti-tank threat. From spotting the enemy's ATGM teams, that is anti-tank guided missile teams, to identifying hostile loitering munitions, these drones will give commanders the aerial edge to respond before the threat strikes. This will be vital against Pakistan's Al Khalid tanks or Chinese Type 99s, both equipped with advanced defenses. And finally, the enhanced tactical mobility. With live feeds guiding battlefield maneuvers, Indian commanders will be able to navigate the high altitude terrain of Ladakh, deserts of Rajasthan, and plains of Punjab with greater confidence and coordination. To make this vision a reality, Indian Army has already initiated trials. Compact, vertically takeoff and landing drones launched and recovered from tanks are being tested. Designed to be crew friendly, these UAVs require minimal training and are being evaluated for endurance, payload capacity and resilience in electronic warfare zones. With the help of graphic wall right behind me, I am going to tell you how a drone when incorporated on a main battle tank will impact upon the battlefield. So here we have a drone that has just taken off from a T-70, uh, T-90 tank of the Indian Army and it is carrying out the ISR mission that is Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance mission trying to find out where the enemy is and how the terrain lies right in front. And once that has been done, the targets are identified and targets here for graphical representation we have the Chinese tank and the Pakistani tank. So once the target has been identified, it is relayed to the commander sitting in Indian T-72 oblique T-90 tank and thereafter he decides to engage in whichever mode that he wants to. Now the another aspect is the counter anti-tank that is whatever anti-tank systems the enemy is likely to employ, the drone can also counter them by active kinetic modes uh, if applied. And thereafter, uh, we have the enhanced tactical mobility. Once a drone is incorporated, you do not change the basic structure of the tank. Basically, you add a lot of lethality to the tank in terms of a third dimension uh, that is an armed drone. So it it enhances the tactical mobility of a tank. So this is how these drones are going to impact the modern battlefield scenario as far as tanks and the armored battles are concerned. The message is clear. The Indian Army is reimagining land warfare. Tomorrow's tank crew will not just command armor and firepower, they will command the skies above the battlefield.